Would everyone please stand for presentation of the colors? Color guard, present colors. Everyone, please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you everyone for joining us for our 9-11 ceremony this morning. I'd now like to introduce our uh, chaplain who's going to open us up this morning, Stanley Robert Cox, spiritual leader of the Tuolumne Band of Miwok Indians and a Marine Corps veteran.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. It's, it's a different thing here for me, but I spent a few years in the military myself, and uh, three of my friends they were, they were came back with me, and I went in. And I know what it's all about. So, uh, being in the Marine Corps, I had a lot of different areas to go to. for any climate that we was put in. So I spent all, a lot of time in different places. But I wanna thank you for asking me here and uh, bless each and every one of you for your what you're doing. You, a lot of work, I know there's a lot of work into what you guys are doing. And in my capacity up there at the reservation, I have a lot of things I have to do too yesterday. And, Friday, I had to do some blessings up there for people, and I, I get stay busy doing this with different places. I've been all over, been coming to Washington D.C. doing some back there too, and um, they ask me uh, to go all over any place, and I'll go with them, go with them, or go to where they, they want me to go. So. I know uh, it's like being in the military. You go where you're told or where you're asked to go. Or, and you know, that's, sometimes that's hard. You gotta leave your families and be away from them for a long time. Some of the men never came back. So I wanna bless them, bless them too. So thank you everyone for being here. And, and I almost forgot about this one here, so. I was reminded. <laughs> My grandson, he reminded me. Because I had some things to do up there at the Acorn Festival, too. And I stay busy and I get get in, I get home late at night sometimes up from up there. So thank you, each and every one of you, for being here. And uh, for all our veterans, I want to thank each and every one of them. You know, there's different races of people in the military. So thank you, every one of them. Thank you. Oh. Good. Thank you. This morning we have a uh, distinguished guest with us. I'd like to introduce District 5 Supervisor Jaron Brandon. Thank you for coming to this morning. Thanks, Mr. Did you have any words that you'd like to say? I want to say is one of our younger leaders in Tuolumne County, uh, I remember the day of 9-11 and being in a class with my teacher watching the television screen and trying to make sense of that as a kid who did not know much about New York or what was happening, uh, the threat that we were facing around the world. And I just wanted to say thank you to all of our veterans because this is, I think, a crisis that I have grown up with since I was a little child. But it is not the first and it will likely not be the last. And in Tuolumne County, we are a community that celebrates our veterans. We cherish you. We appreciate your service. We've had so many young men and women enter the military, serve. Some of them did not come home. And for that, I want to thank you on behalf of Tuolumne County, Tuolumne County residents, Tuolumne County Board of Supervisors. You're appreciated and we uh, will never forget. Thank you. Thank you, Jaron. We'd now like to uh, bring up 
Jason Penrose to give our speech this after this morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming out. <coughs> Yes, you may be seated. Thank you, Reggie. <laughs> September 11, 2001 is a day Americans will never forget. And on this Sunday, the veterans of foreign wars of the United States will pause to remember and reflect on a day that began like any other, but ended with 2,977 Americans tragically losing their lives in an attack that forever changed our nation. The terrorist attacks 21 years ago vividly demonstrated that freedom comes at a cost. Not even out of the twisted steel and rubble, we stand tall to safeguard the American dream. We will always stand ready to sacrifice in order to ensure our way of life prevails for future generations. The very way of life so many before us have fought and died to protect, and what so many of our new generation of service members continue to selflessly put their lives on the line to defend today. This National Day of Remembrance, the VFW encourages every American to pause and honor the victims and all those who have sacrificed to protect and defend our freedom. For generations, America has stood for hope and new beginnings. And the best way to honor the memory of those lost during the September 11th attacks is by continuing to be the inspiration our country was founded upon. For most, the memories of what happened that day are still as vivid and painful now as they were 21 years ago. But we can find solace in remembering how our nation stood together in the days and months following that tragic day. The hope and heroism that emerged from the rubble of Ground Zero, the Pentagon, and the rural Pennsylvania field inspired us all. For generations to come, Americans will look back to the events of 9 11 and the 2,977 Americans' lives lost, and remember, freedom is never free. It is our responsibility to preserve liberty and maintain our way of life. And by doing so, we continue to honor and protect their memory. God bless the USA, and God bless each and every one of you. We'd now like to open up the microphone to anybody here with us today that would like to come up and recount their experiences from 9-11, the things they thought, felt, and saw, if you'd like to. Okay. Rifles. <coughs> See, our rifle team will now fire three volleys in tribute of those who passed, and then we will play taps.
please remain standing while Jason comes back up and gives us our closing prayer for this afternoon. Lord, we still remember how the world responded, supporting us and even declaring us one people. God of all people, teach us to be patriotic, but humbly so. Teach us to see the frailty, beauty, and value of life in light of the tragedy, rather than using it to elevate trivial differences to the heights of divisive reasons for hatred. Remind us of the way the true heart of our nation's people was revealed in open doors, open arms, and open hearts. May we never forget that on that day, we did not focus on nationality, wealth, race, or education. We focused on humanity and love for our fellow Americans. Lord, Call us back to the place in our hearts. Instill in us the deepest sense to be that people once again. We lift up to you all of those who help each other just as we did that day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. This concludes our ceremony for this morning. I want to thank you all for coming. And please join us afterwards. We have refreshments. I believe there's popcorn, coffee, donuts, muffins. And for the little ones, we actually have some bounce houses. Because as sad as this morning is, the rest of today is the National Day of the Patriot. It's Patriots Day, where we celebrate those who have sacrifice for our nation and those who will follow in our footsteps. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey.